happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Kay from At Home with Kay, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video today. Today, I'm going to be showing you some Dollar Tree DIYs and a little cleaning motivation and just talking and chit chatting. Um, so, if you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing right now and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And also, remember to give this video a like if you like it. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So, this first DIY is um, a Dollar Tree DIY. I got some self-stick tiles, subway tiles from Dollar Tree. And I am going to try and do a subway tile backsplash. This is a little ambitious for me because um, I don't usually like to do these kinds of things. So I got my daughter to help me cut and measure and everything. And these were the tiles that I got. I was unsure how much I was gonna need. And as you can see here, they're by a company called Tool Bench, and it's called Self Adhesive Wall Tile. This was the um, kind that's like subway tile, and they had some that looked like brick, some that looked like wood, um, but I like this better, so I chose this one. And it has really clear, concise, simple instructions on the back of each package. And here I am um, placing the tile on the wall. I peeled off the backing and it's just gonna easily go on, really simple. And here I just wanted to show you, this is what I used to clean the grease or whatever that was on the wall so to make sure that the tiles would stick. Some Lysol all-purpose cleaner. I just wiped it with a rag. And here it is, all pretty and nice and looks kind of professional. <laughs> no, it doesn't. There's a few little snafus there, but um, you know, it's fine with me. I love it. It looks like subway tile. <laughs> Like I said before, here are these dishes again. It seems like every day there's a big pile staring me in the face. So I'm gonna just give you a little cleaning motivation and get these out of the way really quickly.
all clean. I wanted to show you these cute little cups I got from Dollar General. Coffee then conquer. Yes, that's me. And then the other one says, be kind. And you know I'm all about that kindness. <laughs> I'm gonna make a little coffee really quickly because I haven't had any today. I like to put this sugar-free Smucker's Caramel on top with some Cool Whip, and this is my favorite, favorite sugar-free um, coffee creamer, cinnamon roll by um, Coffee Mate, and I like to use the extra, extra creamy Ready Whip. <laughs> So I love those little bird houses that Dollar Tree have, the little wooden ones. So I took three of them and I'm going to paint them. I, use, I wanted one green, one yellow, one pink, but I wanted it a soft, like, Eastery green. So I used um, a little Waverly white chalk paint with that green um, paint to get that nice little color there. And then I'm going to make like a little... A little little garden a little bunny garden on top of that flower wood form that you saw there it's all gonna come together and be so cute I can't wait till you can see it and here's the little flower wood form I painted it white and this is what the little houses are gonna be sitting on. I didn't cover up the hole because you aren't gonna be able to see that hole anyways. And I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree green moss and I'm gonna place it on top with hot glue on top of the flower wood form. And then I'm gonna glue all the little houses on there. I'm not gonna show that part though. I did have plans to glue some pretty paper or something on top of the houses, but I just end up in the end painting the roofs of the houses the color that they should be. And this is how they look after I glued them onto the little flower wood base. And now I'll hot glue the moss onto the wood base. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna take these little bunnies. I got those from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I got the little eggs from Hobby Lobby and the beads I already had and the little flowers I already had. And I'm gonna glue those all around and make it just look like a fun little happy Eastery bunny world. <laughs> Okay, so a lot happened. As you can see, I made some little carrots out of Ma Model Magic. 
Um, I also, oh, look, I made a little bird's nest out of some little um, Dollar Tree moss. And I took some little blue beads and put in there to make it look like little robin's eggs. And I also made a little basket out of some jute twine to hold the carrots. This is so cute. I can't wait to set up my Easter decor so this can be a part of it. I seriously might have to make another one of these. <laughs> Okay, now this Dollar Tree DIY is a little bit challenging. I took some of those long sponge rollers, or whatever you call them, I can't remember. Um, I bought two, they only had green and pink. Well, I took the ends off them and I attached them together. I am going to make a lollipop. I saw this on Pinterest or somewhere. I'm gonna attach with the little ends there and then I will use my ribbon I have some pretty ribbon that I'm going to show you to wrap it around and it's and then I'm going to roll it but it's so tricky to hot glue those um, foam rollers they actually melt so it's best to put something around it and only hot glue that you'll see And now I have one long piece of roller with ribbon wrapped around it. Now it's time to roll it into a big lollipop. Roll and hot glue as you go, but roll on the ribbon and not the actual roller. Hot glue on the ribbon and not the actual roller is what I should have said. Now I'm going to glue some little beads on it so it can look like little candies, different little beads that look like stars, hearts, and whatnot. And I have a skewer because I couldn't find the dowels at Dollar Tree. I have a skewer that I'm going to break and glue on the back. Um, and then I'll wrap it in some cellophane and tie it with a bow. And here it is. I think it's so cute and it looks just like a giant lollipop. I'm gonna make some more of these in the green and I'm gonna um, try to make several so it could be a part of my little fun decor that I'll have up. Luke 18, 1, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And I want to encourage you to always pray to your Heavenly Father. Don't give up. Even in the darkest hours, continue to hold on and don't faint. And remember, always, always be kind to yourself and most of all, be kind to others.